Well, good morning, you guys. It's Destry. Welcome back to my Oregon yard. Today we're doing some yardening. Um, we're going to talk about the heat. Uh, definitely, we have a lot of heat and heat warnings happening here in the next couple days. Uh, the 10 day forecast is well into the 90s. So let's talk a little bit about what we can do to beat the heat today. And also, um, I have another couple projects around the yard. So let's hang out and do some yardening. Okay guys, well let's talk about a couple things we can do to kind of help with gardening in the summer heat. Um, I'm sure some of these are obvious for you, but sometimes it's nice to have like a little bit of a list. So, so let me give you a few things that I've been thinking about. Um, first of all, obviously sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen, make sure you have sunscreen on and think about appropriate you know, clothing choices. If you are really sensitive to sun, maybe find a lightweight long sleeve shirt or something like that, um, but definitely apply your sunscreen. Second up, I would say is, you know, stay hydrated, whether that's a sparkling drink like I've got today, a sparkling water, or if it's just water or iced tea or crystal light or whatever you like to drink that just, you know, will keep you hydrated throughout your gardening session um, for that day or this time of year, you got to stay hydrated. Next up is obviously time of day. So make sure that you're gardening at the times of the day where it's the coolest, probably mornings and evenings. Um, now, if you're a night owl, that could be kind of fun because gardening at night is actually really, really fun, right? You could get some solar lights or things like that and really make the garden magical in the evenings. And that could be um, a good you know, time of day to garden. I prefer to garden more in the morning in my zone. I feel like it's a little cooler. It still has that crisp air of the morning. And so that's what I prefer. Next up, I would say take a look at the orientation of your garden or your yard. So where does the sun come up? Where is the sun midday? What areas of your yard are like shaded at different times of the day? And sometimes I just take a little pen and paper and like make little notes and write it down. Um, and then you'll start to get a feel for your space in your garden and you know what times of day um, your plants are getting different light. So it makes you a better gardener in that regard. But also when is an area, you know, don't work in an area when it's midday, mid sun, right? Pick a different corner of the yard that might be more shady um, and figure out when that bed you want to work in is more shaded, things like that. So it's really finding like the rhythm and timing of your garden and, you know, the physical orientation, north, south, east, west, um, where do, do things happen in your yard? So next up is just a couple tips for your plants. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you a few things I've been doing in my garden today. Um, it is the beginning of July here in um, Oregon, well, I'm at Valley, Oregon. And so we have a 10 day forecast of into the 90s. So let me show you a few things I've got set up for today. Okay guys, well, here's one thing I am lucky enough to have is a big umbrella. So. Again, I moved this from a different area today because, you know, I want to shade these snapdragons. This is my goal here. And I can tilt this umbrella, so that's really nice. So if you happen to have an umbrella or, you know, maybe you can thrift one or get one that's, um, you know, seen better days but still could work for this time of year to just pop up over some of your beds and some of your landscaping, um, that's a good idea. So think about where you can use umbrellas in your yard. So the next area is not very pretty, but it's a physical barrier. So physically covering your plants with like a sheet or a piece of uh, shade cloth, which I might need to get a roll of, but my sheets look, you know, they're, they are what they are. Um, so they're not pretty, but they're there to protect my pea plants. I'm hoping I can get another harvest, but you can see when that sun gets intense, this is what that pea plant will do. And if you haven't seen my video about how to grow um, shelling peas, I will link that for you because it's a good one. Or look up in my playlist. I have some playlists on like fruit and veggie tips. And so um, I believe it's on there as well. And then this one, same thing, just trying to protect it as much as possible. And uh, creating a physical barrier can work for helping protect you know, sensitive plants, especially in a heat wave. So another tip obviously is water, 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 water. Water those plants, get them hydrated, get them, get them ready for that heat wave that might be coming or those hot days. And really, you know, water them twice a day if that's what's needed. Really get them hydrated and so that they have the best chance of doing well when it gets real hot. This is one of the watering devices that we've had for a while, and my husband especially, but I really like it too. It's a little tractor um, 
tractor sprinkler. So what happens is it runs along the hose is like the little track and um, it does a great job watering and it kind of moves through the yard on its own. It's pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, it works really well for us for doing watering. Another thing to think about is sunglasses and, you know, hats. So on, in this kind of weather, I would really recommend, you know, a sun hat or a wider brimmed hat. And you can find those almost anywhere now. And they've got all different styles. So get one, rock your, your gardening hat or your gardening hat. And then, you know, um, a pair of shades that have UV protection, preferably. But um, even if they don't, you know, it's still sh shielding your eyes a little bit from the intense, intense sun. Well, thanks for hanging out and checking out the video today, guys. I hope that it gave you some ideas or reminders about things that are important or things that are helpful during gardening in the heat. Um, if you like the video, could you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, share it with a friend, that would be awesome. And if you need me, I'll be hanging out in my Oregon yard in the shade, doing some gardening. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Oh, that's good. What is that? Kirkland. Sparkling orange mango. Zero calories. Carbonated flavored water beverage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a fan of this.